A care center in Urbandale has been fined $10,000 after mistakenly pronouncing a woman dead. She was transferred to a funeral home where staff discovered her still alive. Local 5's Mary Sugden walks us through what the state report reveals. According to an eight page report from the Iowa Department of Inspections and Appeals, a 66 year old woman was admitted to Glen Oaks Alzheimer's Special Care Center in Urbandale in December of 2021. Just over a year later, on December 28th, she was admitted to hospice care. The report details that just six days later, January 3rd, a licensed practical nurse pronounced the woman dead. The nurse noted the woman's eyes were fixed and there was no breath sounds. The report also states the nurse could not locate a pulse and placed a hand on the woman's stomach and felt no movement. A funeral home was called to pick up the woman. In the report, the funeral director said they saw no signs of life from the woman and placed her inside a cloth bag and zipped it shut. When the woman arrived at the funeral home, staff zipped open the bag and found the woman's chest moving as she gasped for air. The funeral home then called 911. When first responders arrived, they found a pulse and the woman breathing, but no eye movement or verbal response. She was taken to the hospital, then released back to Glen Oaks on January 3rd for continued hospice care. Two days later, on the 5th, she passed away surrounded by family. Lisa Eastman, executive director of the center, released the following statement to Local 5, saying, we have been in close communication with the family of the resident, and we just completed an investigation by the Department of Inspections and Appeals regarding the matter. We care deeply for our residents and remain fully committed to supporting their end-of-life care. All employees undergo regular training so they can best support end-of-life care and the death of our residents. Really just an unbelievable story here. Mary, what else are we learning from that report? So Stephanie, this facility faces two state violations. That's what's totaling $10,000. Now on the state inspections and appeals website, it doesn't appear that this has been paid at this point. Now in the fine print of looking into these documents, it says if within 30 days of the center receiving this violation, if they don't request a formal hearing or withdraw a request for a formal hearing and pay the penalty, the assessed penalty would be reduced by 35%. Stephanie. All right, Mary, thank you so much.